To navigate the Salt River Canyon, visitors must have advanced whitewater skills, travel with an experienced boater, or hire a commercial guide. Because at mile 28, there is an unnavigable rapid called Quartzite Falls. It is a place where the canyon walls pinch the river over a steep ledge. And the water flowing over the rock creates what's known as a keeper hole, a hydraulic suction that draws water from both up and downstream. A feature that could stop, hold, and recirculate a boat or a person indefinitely. All that water's just come from downstream and fill right back into that thing. So it was just a big folding interface of water. The big piece of going out was, was being real scared and dealing with it. You know, you got to go to this level in your head where if I don't execute this in this way, the, my, the very, my very worst fears are going to become reality. And that's really the big draw of, of being in real scary situations. I have my own destiny in my hands. And you literally do. You, you have that opportunity to seize your own destiny. The action of the hydraulic could reach downstream and pull a full-sized boat back into the keeper hole. At the end of the 1993 boating season, two men drowned at Quartzite Falls. I talked to the Kevin, the forest ranger, and he said, man, there's been an event down there. The falls is gone. And I went, wow, how did that happen? What kind of event would do that? I mean, this rock was embedded. It was solid. It was, nothing was moving it. We started poking around, and we could, couldn't figure out why some of these rocks had moved upstream if it was a flow event. The edge of the ledge that's left is very sharply cut and said, well, you know, this isn't a flood. This, somebody blew it up. We hiked in and we found big chunks of rock. We found pieces of fuse. And uh, then we found a uh, partially burned box, which apparently turned out to be a, a pretty significant clue and piece of evidence. Agent Mitchell from the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms reviewed the material left at the site. We realized that we, we might be, have better luck solving this case than we originally thought because now we knew we had a, a binary explosive as opposed to uh, possibly dynamite. 